You will know them by their fruits, says the word. So how absurd can it be when one chooses captivity over being free? All for the sake of taking the wide path filled with high grass and sharp rocks that blisters and bruises. Why deny the narrow way? For its path is solid and its terrain is smooth. Perhaps the path that leads to death and destruction is wide for a reason. For if Paul spoke about the spirit in Ephesians and the body of Christ being one, how are God's people not moving mountains? How do we come together as one if pride, religion, stature, and money drive a wedge into the hearts of men? How did God's people become those who stand at the edge and watch versus those who take action? When your soul catches up to you, you'll realize that your fake, smiling eyes can't handle the front, and out comes the tears and the monster rears its head. We change from a programmed robot to a zombie in a matter of seconds. Not much difference. Robots use emotionless logic, and they only think about one thing. Zombies have no logic and only focus on one thing. Yes, sin is corrosion. It will leave you walking dead. The only safety is the savior in this game you're playing. True love means, I see it in your hearts when you start to part the heavens with praises to the king and the angels sing at your chorus while you rock the mic and insert here a better joke than Chuck Norris. Yes, I share the things that made me scared. Look to you both for help and prayer. To be honest, you helped me crawl out of my evil lair. If God could use two men to mend and blend hearts while battling with Holy Spirit sparks, and maybe there is hope for me to not be weak but free indeed. I've seen and see the glory of his son flowing through you, not just one, but both of you. Even as a leader, I saw you two as equal, because honestly... We can start many things, but how many of them we actually finish is the question. Like a man who departs from a woman after making vows to God and giving her the symbolic ring. That chapter may have ended, but let's pay attention. Halfway through the page and after the word divorce, there were three dots. A pause, a break, but do not mistake that hiatus for completion. That chapter was never finished, but left blank instead. Most people believe death is a means to an end. Something doesn't need to die to finally say goodbye. This is true, more so with me and you. This movement of you only live once is a youthful joke born from confusion. According to the word, people either live twice or die twice. So if death is not the end of the line, then where is this finish line we so desperately seek? What results do we hope to see as we breathe in this air? That without it, we would not live. Bound to a feeling that skyrockets through the ceiling, reeling in the bitter hitter of death. Stop and simply rewind. This concept in my mind is a joke worth a dime. It's not much, but I'll keep lying and repeat, I'm fine. How to encourage the masses with the line when well, my line is about to snap? Do I use the sorrow card to bargain and get free things when all I really want is to be free from feeling things? With that in mind, I'll be destroying joy along with peace and love. So I'll play the love card. I'll be the drummer boy and beat my flesh so my soul can confess that what I have left is greater than my sorrow, greater than tomorrow, greater than my conflicted and twisted mind which I bind to my body no longer. Agent spreading agent, get rid of this virus. It's called human function and wavy flesh because the flesh always wavers. But our spirit knows the behavior. God never leaves, not now, not later. Not even if you Anakin turn it into Vader. Yoda may not save you, but I know of a savior. Word, I said the living word. You must have heard because there are so many little birds hopping on your shoulder, giving you advice on how to be bold. Can't hope to get stronger if you're not standing on the boulder, or rather the solid rock. What is my story? A villain who saw the power of love, healing his hate-filled heart, the Holy Spirit mending wounds of old and warming this cold soul. In awe, I witnessed the change in my family, in my life, and the world around me transformed. My story is one of salvation when I thought there was none. My story is not about me, but about the risen one. It wasn't until I gave it all to him and he revealed how much he can heal my frail and broken bones. 
No more running this race alone, but I'm his to own. He paid the ultimate price for my sins. And so when I'm angry, mad, cold as ice, he said my love will suffice. And it will cover you in majesty, break off all these chains and free you from the darkness of gravity. So you can mount on wings of an eagle. So yes, God gave me a power girl. And though I may seem young as a boy, a quick shout of Shazam, and you will see the true man of God. Only I call upon Jesus, the only name strong enough to change a broken man. He brought two loving heroes who were once villains to unite. So I thank God for the woman that stands on my right, standing on my side, walking along with me as we sing of his praises. Yes, I love my Wonder Woman, Nicole Mariela Ithier Fernandez.